Hello, everyone. Um, this is like the fifth or sixth time I have tried to do this video. <laughs> I have been interrupted every time, and I just don't want to have to edit and piece together parts of a video. I just want to film it, get it done, and put it up. So, I'm going to try one more time. <laughs> Uh, if you saw my last video, uh, we were going through this book, which is crazy big. That is my Fabonichi. And uh, we'd gotten to the point where I had switched from this one to using this one, which was a much more portable one that I was using for spring and summer on vacation and all that. So I just wanted to quickly go through it, and then we'll get uh, back to that thing. So, a uh, quick note about the cover. It's a, a leather, like, faux dory that I made and painted with uh, acrylics. I'd seen this sort of nebula galaxy pattern um, on notebooks on Facebook and Instagram this year, and I just loved them, so I decided to make my own. <coughs> and so this is... The book that I switched to it is Spring and Summer of 2015. The inside I just put the uh, map from Dollywood because I love looking back at the old ones and see how things have changed. Uh, Thunderhead, the wooden roller coaster, that's just a postcard. I journal a bit on that. This first part in here was. Uh, the very first time my husband and I went to Dollywood together alone without the kids in years. So that was really nice. And we finally rode the Wild Eagle. Usually the kids ride and we just don't. But uh, we decided this time we were there by ourselves. We were just going to bite the bullet and do it. And we loved it. Yeah, it's, it's a really big coaster. It's one of those where your feet dangle and you're like you're flying. Oh, it's just, it's great. <laughs> Um, and just more pictures and journaling. These pictures were on cardstock, so I didn't have any photo paper, and I didn't have my portable printer then. The, uh, the grist mill. Totally recommend it. If you ever go to Dollywood, you need, which is in Sevierville, Tennessee, in the Smokies, you have to stop at this place right here that will focus. I don't think it's going to. I don't know why. There we go. Yes, the Dollywood Grist Mill. Um, they make their own uh, cinnamon bread, and I mean, people are like lined up for this stuff. Oh, it's so good. And I recommend at the apple butter dipping sauce. Uh, my kids like the the like sugar glaze you can put over it, but I like the apple butter. But anyway, uh, this was the. Sorry for the glare. There we go. The, nope, nope, there's glare everywhere. <laughs> Show schedule for the Festival of Nations that was going on at the time. I don't think we actually watched a show that time we went, though. But I just stuck that in there anyway. Then uh, my daughter's spring chorus concert. Now, some of this stuff is duplicates of what is in there, but it's fine. I don't mind having it in both places. There's more to talk about. And there were more pictures. That I did. Uh, this was the groundbreaking um, that I talked about in the other one. I have the the newspaper article I put in this book, but this one I have the the this is cut out from the announcement paper that we got, and this is the. Um, uh, program that they handed out. It's got the blueprints of the thing and then there's a bunch of pictures and journaling about it again. And then later on they had a land blessing with their annual meeting so we went to that. And lots of pictures and journaling. These are the name tags because you had to buy tickets to this and uh, so those were the ones they had pre-made. And, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to hold this. Um, 
yeah. This was the day the Avengers 2 came out, and oh, I was so thrilled. I don't know why it's still not focusing, but there. Um, like I said in my other video, I am a huge geek, fangirl, nerd, whatever. Um, love my comics and all of that, so it's been really awesome time for me lately with all these great movies and TV shows and everything. So, yep, there's Ultron. Uh, my daughter was invited to a birthday party, so that's her invitation. And just journal about that. This is the invitation we got for a family reunion. So I just stuck that in there. Um, this was the band concert from when Zoe had her solo. This was the next trip to Dollywood. It was the friends and family one we went on. When you get season passes, you get a free pass to take a friend with you during certain dates. So we all picked somebody and we all piled in the Suburban and headed down. And so there's pictures from all of that and the show schedule from that day. Another Wild Eagle postcard. A journal about everything we did. That's the Barnstormer. I love that ride. I could ride, I could seriously go one day and just ride that ride over and over and over again and be totally happy. Loved it. Uh, Mother's Day, and um, one of my kids actually got a picture of me opening one of my presents. She got me a bracelet from Dollywood. It's beautiful. I loved it. This is the tissue paper and some of the wrapping from. Um, a present my other daughter, Rhiannon, got me. Uh, she got me a, a journal, which I actually just finished up. I used the whole thing. I loved it. Uh, this is when we went to pick up my daughter, Rhiannon, from, um, from college. She was moving out. Her freshman year of college was over. And this was just a little tip-in I did of Zoe's class trip, the end of the year trip that they take. Uh, of course, they go to Dollywood because that's what we do around here. And uh, so she talked about how she was just exhausted because, you know, she's used to just riding one or two rides every time we go. But, you know, when it's the end of the year thing and a bunch of the kids don't have season passes and this is their only time they're going to go, it's like you just ride roller coaster after roller coaster over and over again. And she was worn out. <laughs> this is when we were building our new storage building. And everybody chipped in. And that's it now. And then we went out to dinner afterwards. Got the suburban serviced to go to Florida on uh, our big vacation trip. This was a car that was in the showroom at the garage. Then the uh, Rural Resources Garden. It's um, sponsored by Grow Appalachia out of Berea, Kentucky. They're great people and they have they donate everything. So these the first year students in this program get to have a garden and it's a raised bed. It was a huge one and all of it was donated and Debbie came out and built it and it was just it's just great and we got so many peppers and tomatoes and stuff out of that this year uh, Memorial Day weekend we met up with some friends at the local creek and it was super super cold we were gonna go to the lake but um, Boone Lake eh, right before this weekend a huge sinkhole opened up underneath the dam and the lake is closed and they they had to drain it and last I heard they're going to it's gonna take like six years to fix I'm so so upset but oh well at least they are fixing it I mean they could just I guess not worry about it but they're gonna fix it uh, Zoe get her haircut that's what she used to look like and the whole cutting thing and it was afterwards and I've got a close up here that's what she looked like afterwards kind of shaved on one side and there's a side swoop and she's so pretty she's only 12 <laughs> yeah so then she decided she wanted to diet 
and it was going to be blue, but we got it to bleach blonde, and she loved it. Yeah, it came out a pretty, pretty decent platinum, so she decided to just leave it there. So she was blonde through most of the summer, and it was really nice. Okay, then, yep, this is, we started on our trip, um, May 29th. Uh, technically the trip was because it was a memorial service. For, my husband's grandmother had just passed, and his grandfather had passed the September before, so they, they died within, like, I think five or six months of each other or less. And, uh, so... They had a prearranged, um, you know, when they still were aware of what was going on, they had it all taken care of. So all we had to do was just go down for memorial, and because they were, they were cremated. So we did a whole memorial service for them at the same time, rather than two separate ones. So we celebrated them together as a couple and um, as the heads of the family, and they were just. They were really great people. Um, they had helped raise my husband, and they were like my own grandparents. So, uh, but they had had uh, Alzheimer's and dementia, and so we really we lost them a while back. But um, it was it was nice to celebrate their lives and um, and be happy that they're at peace and together. So anyway, so we headed to Florida, because that's where it was. Of course, we have to cross the mountains between Tennessee and North Carolina to get there, so yeah, driving through that on the way down is not so bad. I hate it on the way back, because it's always dark, and almost every single time, it's raining. I swear, I cannot drive in the mountains in the dark without it being rainy. I think it's a law, but yeah, this was like one of the first, like, lookout points. This was, yeah, when we finally got to the North Carolina line. <clears throat> I'd wanted to stop and get pictures of every single state sign, but, of course, it was dark throughout most of our trip, so I didn't. So these are just some of the pictures that I got while we were there. This was, these were in Florida. Obviously, there's a Spanish moss, and it was just... It's just beautiful. It's so different down there, but although actually I got that one as a plane was going over. I think that was pretty cool. And family all together. Lots of that. And then we went to a beach that's a, it's about an hour or so from where they lived, and uh, it's on the Gulf, but it's just so beautiful. It's like in this the sandbar just goes out forever, and it's just and so the water's not ready. Of course, the tide was out, so it wasn't a lot of swimming to be doing, but it was just nice to be there. And they have this awesome little shack where you can get drinks and food and stuff. And we go there every time, and I just love it. It's just so Florida. I got a T-shirt from there actually. It's really, it's great. And then we stopped at this place called Buffet City for dinner. It was crazy. It was huge. And then this was the dinner uh, after the memorial service at the church. So that's the whole family. And so, yeah, there's some of the food. <clears throat> this was on the trip back home. Of course, we had to stop and get oranges and all that. Actually, it was out of season, so they weren't very good <coughs> oranges, but uh, we did it anyway, and it was coming up on the Brunswick Bridge. That, I don't know if you can see that. I didn't even realize that car passed us until I was going back through these pictures, but seriously, that car looks like one of the ones right out of the Mad Max movie. It was covered in things, and it was, I don't know, it was really weird. But yeah, there's the the suspension bridge going to Brunswick, Georgia. We always take the scenic route up the coast, uh, Highway 17, the coastal highway, and it's just it's just beautiful over there. All those cute little towns, and we always stop 
in Darien, where it's a little shrimping village, <clears throat> and we stop at B and J's, which I don't know if I've got a picture of the restaurant or not. Probably. Yeah, there's the menu. B and J's steak and seafood. If you're ever down in South Georgia on the coast, I really recommend you come up 17 and you find B and J's. It's right there on the coastal highway, uh, right past the shrimp boats, and it's amazing. It's in uh, yeah Darien, Georgia. Oh my God, the shrimp, the food. Look at this. Look, look at that. Oh. I'm hungry. But <laughs> then, although um, we actually had to turn around and go back, but we wanted to go ahead and eat first. And then we went back down to Brunswick and headed over to St. Simons and went to the beach. And the, the beaches on St. Simons Island are just, they're just breathtaking. And they go on forever. They're just huge. And so it was great. And I think... I think Austin, my daughter's boyfriend who had gone with us, I believe he said he'd never been to the Atlantic before. So, of course, we'd been to the Gulf at the other beach, but this time <clears throat> we decided to just go ahead and stop and go out to the beach on the Atlantic. So we made a pit stop, and we did that. I didn't go out into the water. Um, I just stayed and took pictures. But, yeah, see all these? I've got tons of these 3D stickers and stuff in here, so... I loved it. I just bought a whole bunch of packs of summer stickers and beach stickers, and I just I went crazy. There's stuff everywhere. It's funny. This uh, there's a picture of this uh, the dune buggy thing. Uh, those were everywhere. They were all over the place. People were playing around on the sand, and so it was nice. And then back on the road again. Uh, we stopped at. The Georgia Peach World and Country Store. We always stop there as well. Um, yeah, it's on uh, I-95 exit 58. Uh, they have just really, really good peaches. Especially if you go just during the right time when they're white peaches. Uh, they're the, what are they called? The Freestone Peaches. Oh, they're so good. There's a Savannah... Car. We didn't actually drive through Savannah. We wanted to, but we were already running late, and and because we'd stopped at the beach, so we decided we'd do Savannah another day. And then just a little journaling about driving home, and it was by the time I do all the driving usually, and this was, and with all the stopping and everything, it's about 15 hours or so on the road, and I don't normally mind it. I do love to drive. And uh, it was fine, but by the time we got to the mountains, I was it was almost a panic attack. And I think, and you know, I even talk about it right here. I think that it was sort of leading up to something that happened later on, which is in this book too. But I guess I just can't I can't take that much driving anymore. <laughs> um. Let's see, not long after we got back, this was on June the 9th, uh, power went out at the house. We were in the middle of making dinner and everything. <clears throat> so we call a uh, power company, they come out and look, and apparently the box had just, like, died. So, you know, the power coming into to it was just not going to our house. So they were going to have to come out and fix it, but they wouldn't be able to come out to the next day. So we had to go to a hotel. So, journaled about that. That was actually the night they dyed Zoe's hair. They did it in the hotel bathroom. Um, I'm so glad they had white towels. I was, I could not believe they did that, but they did. Yeah, her sisters <clears throat> dyed her hair for her. But. Um, and then this, there's a lot of journaling here, but yeah, June the 16th. This was what I was talking about before. Uh, I was going to Nashville with a friend of mine who I actually work with. Like, you know, we work, we telecommute, but um, 
I had actually recommended her for the job, and she got hired. So, you know, so the two of us live near each other, but usually, you know, most of the other people I work with are in other states or far away. And actually, our boss lives in Nashville. Well, actually, Clarksville. But um, he was going to meet us in Nashville for a meeting and just a get-together. So we were driving, me and this other girl, were driving to Nashville, and I... I got about halfway or so, and I just got so dizzy and nauseous. I didn't know what was happening. And uh, by the time I pulled over and I let her drive. Anyway, by the time we got near Nashville, I asked her, please take me to the hospital. And I ended up getting admitted and found out I had an attack of vertigo. So, yeah, that was fun. So it's going to be, it's a, it's a recurring thing. It's not all the time, but it can happen anytime. So, yay. So the next day, my husband drove down and picked me up and we got stopped at White Castles because they don't have those here. So we got White Castles because he's from the north. So he was ecstatic to see that again. But yeah, there's a selfie I took in my hospital bed. And it was the drive back home. Of course, I, I couldn't drive. I was still... Uh, had some of the lingering effects. Plus, the the only cure for it is Valium. So I was on a Valium too. So it was no driving for me. But yeah, I was I was so glad to see the the road signs for back home. So then there's some pictures of the just brand new garden and her very first little ter cherry tomato. And June 21st, this was the last day I journaled in here, and the girls decided to build a blanket fort. They are 18, 17, and 13, well, almost 13. And, yep, they decided to build a blanket fort, and they took over the entire living room. <laughs> but they had fun, so that was, it was great. And then we played games. Afterwards. So that was it was a great day. So that's why I put it in there. It was fun. And that is the end of that book. Um I actually do not have time right now to go ahead and start back in that one, but I will do another video on this soon. I'll get back into it. Hopefully two more videos, maybe get through the rest of this, maybe three. I don't know. Uh depends on how much I sit and chatter about stuff, but I hope you enjoyed that. I know uh, everybody wants to see this one, but I just I just kind of wanted to go through this one a little bit. So, uh, you know, if you want to see the rest of this uh, and you're not subscribed yet, if you would, just go ahead and subscribe so then you won't miss those when they come in. And, um, yeah, that'll be fun. I do look forward to going through those. I like looking through it. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, you know, leave a comment if you have any questions or anything. Let me know, and I'll see you next time. Bye.